Hey yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy X coming at y'all with a brand new video and in this we're going to be covering the best cards to run in limited for this weekend. So if you guys are excited, make sure you guys smash that like button down below as well as comment any cards that you guys have already been using. Maybe you already got your ring and all that wonderful stuff. Let me know who you guys use. And make sure you guys subscribe if you guys are new. We are on that road to 10k subscribers. And if you guys were wondering what any of the um, nice little pink diamonds or diamonds look like from yesterday's Inferno set, you can check those out. Link in the description down below. A and J R and uh, the pink diamond Ben Simmons. All wonderful cards. So, in limited this weekend, we'll show you guys what we're looking at right here. And you can see you must include 10 players from the 2021 current theme. Only one diamond player card allowed, no Galaxy Opal, no Pink Diamond, no Free Agent, or Heat Check cards are allowed. So a little bit different from the previous weeks that we've had going on. And I think for most people, um, the 2021 cards are a little bit lucrative. I haven't really had too many of them that are insane. Um, I'll show you guys a limited team that I kind of threw together. I just kind of tossed in all of the best 2021 cards that I had. But basically what this means is you have a... 13 man rotation here so you can actually run one little set of or three different cards that are not from the 2021 set so your entire basically bench can be 2021 and then like i did i'll have you know a starter that isn't and we'll throw in you know just jonas valanciunas we have to have a diamond up in here so we'll throw in just break for Olsen, for example so this would be what the general lineup looks like you can only have one diamond you can have Everybody else be Amethyst or whatever as long as they're from 2021 and then your other two free cards that you want. Now, one little set of cards that I actually really recommend is going to be Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. I think these two guys are actually super solid on um, power forward and two guards or even Jalen Brown at the three if you wanted to run them. And they have a nice little dynamic duo, which helps them out a little bit. And you can also see I pulled them for free out of the three packs. So, original owners. I already had them. But with Tatum, the dynamic duo boost is actually pretty solid. We can get an 86 shot three on a Tatum with a coach boost and a guard that has floor general. We can actually have a 93 point shot Tatum, which means we are not going to be lacking at all. He can kind of speed boost as well if we have the right you know, coach boost. Um, he has pretty good defense, but we don't have any sort of clamps, so beware of that. Um, Jalen Brown, again, has a really good mini, a really good three point shot now with this boost. Can dunk like crazy. Um, can't speed boost, but can still play good defense. And if we check out his bronze badges, does have pick dodger, clance, intimidator, post rides. There's some pretty nice badges there um, to actually help him out pretty well. So I think those guys are really nice. It's just a general duo that I think most people should be running. But first, I do want to cover the cards that you should be running um, here just for some fun. Now, what I did for a good bit of my run was actually run the Amethyst Chris Paul right here. And then at the two guard, I was running, I don't have him anymore because I sold him back after finishing his challenges, but I was running the Diamond J.R. Smith. I'll throw in Rip Hamilton just to replace. I was running Diamond J.R. Smith, and then for a while, I was running Diamond DeAndre Ayton just for ease of completing XP challenges. So if you guys wanted to do that as well, they do have some pretty nice XP challenges, and J.R. Smith actually does have a challenge that involves playing a multiplayer so pretty good overall actually to be running you can see 15 assists with inferno jr smith over multiple games so you can actually while scoring the jr get some assists slowly and actually finish that challenge out so i think it'll be a pretty good one to run but in general i would recommend run one diamond that you really really love um you can really throw some teams off if you actually run your diamond at center i'll give that quick tip because when i was running deandre ayton most teams were planning for really good guards, so if you can run, you know, Amethyst Chris Ball, we can play great defense, and then another really solid, you know, Amy to play defense at the two, like, you know, maybe even up Ronnie Brewer, you can lock down the good guards, and then you can run your diamond like a DeAndre and Vlade Divac, and really kill some people in the post because they aren't prepared for it, but if you have a good Amethyst center, like maybe Kristaps Porzingis, that you know you can lean on, that you know is going to be doing some good work for you, um, you can throw in just any random guy. So that's the general gist. Run your favorite cards that are going to be fun. And for the Amethyst section, I think the new Inferno Ronnie Brewer is great. If you guys have gone ahead and even evoed up the new Jarrett Jack, this Amethyst Jarrett Jack is insane. A video on both of these cards are actually coming later today. Um, really cool, really good cards to have some fun with. And then for the 2021 current kind of collection, you can assume who are going to be the cards that are going to be pretty solid. Um, ones that are pretty common, but for a good reason. Amethyst Joel Embiid is a super nice um, guide that if you have to run for the current collection, I think fits pretty well. 
I think he's super solid just because Embiid has a bit of a three-point shot, which is great. He can still dunk, he can still rebound well, and decent speed with some pretty nice badges. Has a, quite a few of them actually, which is pretty solid. And the show on the beat has actually been pretty consistent in the games that I've seen against him. Um, I don't really like running Simmons or Harris. They're just not really fun. Now, if you have the opportunity to, um, Diamond KD, great one to run. Again, if you have some of these cards, they're going to be super fun to run. You know the guys are going to be good. Um, Carry Irving, I wouldn't run just because complete lack of defense can really just get absolutely cooked. Um, so not that great. Um, Jimmy Buckets can be another fun one as well because Jimmy does have a bit of a three-point shot on this card. Can dunk, can play mate, can play defense, has good speed, and has silver clamps. So Jimmy Buckets is actually a pretty good shout. Um, a card that I loved running was Pascal Siakam. And if you do have Fred Van Vliet, which I haven't been lucky enough to pull him, you can run that with a nice little duo and get some boosts on Pascal. But I love Pascal because as a power forward, you can see, just has great all-around stats, really come in and play great. And as a sapphire, you at least have a slightly lower overall, so you can go against some slightly worse teams, which could help you guys out um, in the long run. Again, like I said, Tatum and Brown are two pretty good ones to go ahead and run out there right now. Obviously, Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, if you have the opportunity to, run these cards, especially PG. Um, PG just has a super smooth jumper with that 82 shot three, great dunking, and we have solid defense so that if you have Paul George, man, run it. Super good card, super clean, super nice, and even then, I don't think he's that expensive, like 2K to pick up Paul George, even has bronze range. So if you're still stuck on your, you know, limited ring, I think Paul George and another guy that can play the two guard over here and Ruby Clay Thompson, two of the best cards to be running right now in limited to really go ahead and work it out because they're perfect 3 and D options. And in the case of PG, can still actually drive to the basket and get some nice buckets there, um, which is really cool, really nice. And I think with Clay, you get so many good silver shooting badges. Um, that it is, it's kind of overpowered. It's kind of nice. Actually, Clay doesn't seem to have any sort of defensive badges on here. Um, so maybe just go with Paul George, but Clay could be fun. Um, I've seen a few people run this Diamond Steph Curry. Personally, I wouldn't recommend it just because this Curry's defense, it's just, it's non existent. I know he's got gold badges, so he can shoot great. I know he's got a lot of good silver badges, but the defense is just so bad that I really have been able to lock up this Curry pretty well. Um, and just kind of shut it all down. Other ones that can be nice are Brandon Ingram. Sadly, doesn't have a uh, dynamic duo, but does have, again, really decent stats all around. On offense, we're going to be pretty great. Um, on defense, we're going to lack a bit, but overall can generally play really great. So in general, if I had to tell you guys some nice ones that I'd run, definitely Paul George. Probably my favorite card to have on a team is definitely that Ruby PG. is one of the best bang for your buck options. Um, at a center position, if you need it, Joel Embiid is going to be great. Jimmy Buckets, again, can be another great option for you if you're kind of missing some things. And Porzingis as well, as only a Sapphire, super cheap and is seven foot three. So he's going to be getting boards like crazy. He's going to play great defense in the paint and it's just going to be awesome. Um, it's another center option. And generally, once you have, you know, two good guys to run in your starting lineup, you can fill out the rest of your starting lineup with some nice cards that you have fun with and kind of just throw up your bench with the rest of the people just to kind of give some breaks. So if I was going right now, I probably would run this general lineup. I had Jokic in at my two, maybe Ronnie Brewer at the two. I had Jokic in at my five. There we go. And Brewer in the two. And then I had Jared Jack over here at the PG just because a lot of my diamonds I'm not a huge fan of. So if I was going to run anybody, uh, maybe it'd be a Batum at the three because Nicholas Batum's actually kind of a dog. But that's generally what you want to look for. Again, for your PGs, I kind of say it a lot of the time. We want to look for really good playmaking. We want a guy that can shoot a little bit and have some good defense. And Jared Jack, I think, fits that mold perfectly, especially once Eve out is an absolute demon, absolute beast. So Jared Jack's a nice little guy to throw in there, have some fun with. Um, at your two guard, you want to look for somebody who, again, I usually prefer three and D options, but can still kind of get to the paint and slash a little bit. Ronnie Brewer, again, for me, fits that perfectly. The Rudy Gay base is amazing. 87 three-point shot. We got an 85 dunk. And 95 perimeter, 92 steal with Hall of Fame clamps. So Ronnie Brewer... Again, is one of those guys that I think any, everybody should kind of have on their team just to come in and play really well. If you don't feel like taking the time to get this Ronnie Brewer evo out because it is 20 steals, your good alternative could be that Ruby Paul George. is going to be pretty nice. Um, for your three man, again, I just look for guys that can do it all and have some defense. And with Nicholas Patum is the definition of doing it all. 85 three-point shot. We got some awesome dunking. We can play make. We have good defense. We have great speed and a lot of good badges. 
and a money jumper. Love this Nicholas Batum card. He's just overall great. Could be fun. Um, at the power forward, again, I just look for those can kind of do it all cards, can play a little bit in the paint, can play a little bit outside. Um, Tatum is just kind of a guy I'd like to run in there for some mismatches. And then your center, he's got to be able to play good interior defense and get boards. Jokic is kind of the exception to this, but um, generally I would run Embiid. But Jokic I gave the nod to just because I pulled him for a free pack. And he's got the ability to shoot a little bit, which I kind of like. But if you like more traditional big men, and you don't really care about shooting, you could always throw yourself in a nice little Rudy Gobert, or even could run your own diamond in here, or Amethyst like Jonas Valachunas, Patrick Ewing, if you like him like that. Uh, maybe a Sam Perkins because you want to stretch the floor a little bit and really knock it down. Bill Russell to play defense, you know, pretty simple things um, round about here. Again, it's a bit of an interesting one this weekend in limited. I wasn't expecting this to kind of be the lineup that we got with using the 2021 themes, but I think it's cool. And I think the ring was relatively easy to get um, if you played your cards right. Um, let me know if this video did help you guys out down in the comment section below. Again, for those higher rated cards, you can kind of use whoever you want. Pick a diamond that you love. JR and Aiden, again, worked perfectly for me, but there's a bunch of other diamonds that are great, like AK-47, even the original Diamond KD. Rudy Fernandez, Thurl Bailey, some great ones that you guys can run. And then Amethyst, again, a bunch of great guys. Showed you guys a few, but there's still amazing ones on the auction house. And then for the 2021 themes, you kind of can assume who's good. Paul George, Kawhi, KD, that wonderful stuff. Um, again, like the video if you guys did enjoy. Comment down below where you guys got your ring, what you guys were using, and all that wonderful stuff. Subscribe if you guys are new. We are on that road to 10K subscribers. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you all in the next video.